What's up, guys? It's Brian from Hash for Hub. It's about 2.22 p.m. Eastern Time, March 9th, 2018. And we got a trading video. This is going to be on Bitcoin. But first, before you even get into it, hit that subscribe button. Hit the not notification bell. Uh, if you guys are on YouTube, if you guys are on Steam or DTube, uh, subscribe, upvote, re-steam, all would be greatly appreciated. Um, and so let's, uh, I guess, let's get right into it. Let's get right on into it. Um, oh, even before that... I think tomorrow we'll probably have our giveaway, so make sure you guys are subscribing and uh, obviously, and uh, but more importantly, you know, commenting down below because that's where we take the 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 population of um, the people to randomly pick somebody and uh, and give them something. <laughs> so um, I zoomed out here a little bit. This is on the one hour, on the one hour chart, and I just wanted to kind of take a, a a general look to kind of see like. You know, how did we get here, and 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 where are we possibly going? And one of the one of the ways um, to go ahead and count what is going on right here. Um, clearly, this is obviously a breach of this one, two, three, four, five going up. One of the things to, to take a look at what's going on right here is just a basic ABC. All right, um, let me just draw it real quick. Add it up there. Okay. Anyway, sorry about that. So. Yeah, A, A is probably the end of it's probably somewhere somewhere over here. Okay, B, I'm just going to draw it and I'm going to talk to you guys about it. B, and then possibly a C. Um, I'm thinking it could be even as low as like 6,000. Um, now the B is really the question right now. The B really becomes the question right now. Where, where should the B be? <laughs> Say that, say that fast. Where should the B um, be on the chart? Uh, as far as price is concerned, you know, length of time, you know, who knows. But as far as price, there's a lot of resistance coming up here, right? There's a lot of resistance, you know, the same resistance line as we've been drawing before. You know, we have this uh, one hour 9,275, but also more importantly, we have this 9,260, which comes down from this low right here. Okay, so, and then we also have this green line that comes above it. So, you know, this right here, if the B comes up here, this could be a bull trap, right? People may say, oh boy, that's it, we made it out of here, and we're running up. Oh, nope. And then we kind of dip right back down and we make a C. So, I want people to really understand um, the possibility of, 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 of what can happen here. Hey, let's say we do start getting what looks to be a motive wave up. Well, it may not necessarily even be that, um, right? We would have to see some sort of, let's say, retracement and then and then something moving up even more, right? Now, the B could be, I mean, the B could be, you know, up here. I don't think that's going to be the case, but could happen. Um, so I'm just going to leave it right here for right now. I'm, I don't really have a primary or a secondary count with regards to that just yet. I want to see if this is actually the bottom, right? I want to see if this is actually the bottom right here. Because remember, we have that WXY um, that we're talking WXY. And in order to make the Y, we'd have to have some sort of ABC coming up here, right? Some sort of three wave coming up. And then the Y would come down. Now, I originally spoke about the Y kind of being somewhere around the 7827, uh, which would be this bottom right here. But we would have to really move up here, right, in order to have this come back down, uh, to have five legs come back down on a, on a small basis, right? Um, basically, it's actually even more than it's actually actually even more than just than just five legs, right? It's actually just more than it's a it's a double zigzag we're talking about here, right? So it's five legs. We in order for us to come back down, if we really have this W X Y, we'd have five legs coming down, a small three legs coming up, and another five five legs coming five legs coming down, similar to the way in which this wave looks right here. Okay, the way in which we we counted this right here. Go back a few videos and you'll see that. So, um, you know. The Y, even though, I, like I said, I have it here corresponding to this bottom, I think it could probably get somewhere down to the C level, somewhere around the 6,000 level, you know, somewhere around there. Um, 
at best, maybe we go ahead and we just hold on to this onto this red line, maybe dip slightly below it. Right? Remember where this red line comes from. Let's just zoom out real quick. Okay, this is where this the red line comes from. Alright, so that's something I wanted to mention. That you get there that right now this is really what what I'm I'm thinking about. I'm really thinking about what's hap what's going to happen right here. So we go ahead and we like, let's say pull on some Fibonacci, right? Our famous Italian friend Fibonacci, right? So the B is is pretty much where the three A two is, right? The three A two is nine thousand six hundred and sixty one, and depending where this happens with respect to time, um. This ninth, this uh, nine nine hundred, excuse me, nine thousand six hundred and sixty one is either below or it's above or it's on. Obviously, the green line, the top of this downward facing wedge, the large downward facing wedge. So that's one way we can go ahead and look at it. Another way we can look at it is that well, the two three six, nine thousand one hundred and seventy eight. The two three six is 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 nine is is at a level nine thousand one hundred seventy eight. But that nine thousand one hundred seventy eight also corresponds very closely to our 9,275, which is the bottom right here. Okay, it's only about 100 points away, just slightly less than, than 100 points away. So if we only retrace, if B here only retraces to, let's say, around 236, maybe even sli slightly higher, um, that means that the bears are pretty much still in control and that we could have a, a, a much lower um, low to be had. Okay, and that's the same way for the WXY. If the ABC that comes in here, the ABC that comes in here, um, uh, uh, you know, is very small, well, then the next, you know, five waves plus three plus another five coming down, right? Another thirteen waves coming down. If it's another zigzag, um, can 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 be pretty low. So. Two kind of different things here, but uh, as far as Elliott Wave is concerned, but they pretty much come down to the same consensus, and that's what happens a lot of time. You know, let's say there's like I don't know, 32 different type of combinations, right? But once you once you have some some history, once you have some experience in doing this stuff, you can whittle that down pretty pretty much because then a lot of them tend to say the same thing, right? And there's all, then there's only a few of them that say something different, and that's in the end of it. That's that's really that all that matters, right? So that's what we got. That's what we got going on um, right here. Next thing I want to update is I also want to update our um, our lines, right? So let's let's update our lines. Let's do that. So our hidden support, uh, excuse me, our hidden resistance line. The the four hour one, uh, excuse me, the daily one. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete that. All right, because we're we're long past that, right? The four hour one, we're going to update that. The four hour one, we are going to turn it to 9,505. 9,505. All right. So that goes here. The one hour one, a, uh, we are going to 9,097. Nine thousand ninety seven. So this is what we got right now. So in order for this thing to turn like north, we clearly have to get over the nine thousand nine ninety seven. In order for it to turn and actually have some legs to it, um, we have to get over to the four hour, the nine thousand five hundred and five. Clearly, the the um, we're well below the um, the the, the uh, what's it called 200 moving average and also the, the the 55 EMA we're well we're well below that so this is what's going on on, on the one hour uh, one hour chart um, also another thing I want to take a look at here which is kind of interesting is you know I'm always looking for divergence all over the plates right and uh, well actually one thing let's go ahead and let's update this channel right here. I think that's about the same, All right? I think this. I think this thing pretty much has has uh, 
has uh, lived its life. It's time to time to take it behind the barn and shoot it. But um, <laughs> the uh, the um, RSI looks like it's diver diverging, right? Diverging from price, right? See the price still coming down. The RSI we have some some higher highs here, right? Slowly going up, slowly going up. I would see all the way up here too. So maybe this is a telling sign, at least on the one hour basis, that things are going to start moving up a bit. Okay, that's a lot of things. That's something I, li I like to look at, especially when it comes to RSI. I don't talk about it much, but um, I do like to look for that type of thing. The Laguerre RSI, you know, it's hitting a bottom right here, and clearly, obviously, we'd be looking for this thing to turn around. Uh, but even at least, at least in the meantime, you know, this could go down and can kind of go sideways for some time. Um, you know, there's one way to go ahead and 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 read this, you know, looking for an ABC in here, right? So we have a one hour chart, the fifth wave comes down to here, right? And so this could be an A, this could be a B, and this could be a C, and then maybe we're starting, you know, some sort of other um, wave down. In other words, another five five waves down. I would say it's super small. It's it's uh, highly, highly unlikely that this is, this is it, right? Because if this is it, then boy, we got we got we got some ways to ways to go down. All right, no doubt. The next thing I want to talk about is that you know Bitcoin also tends to like on the fifth wave to do funny things, a lot of sideways momentum type stuff. Right, so that doesn't so this very well could could happen right here. All right, so those those two things I wanted to mention. Next, um, let's look at the. Let's look at Fibonacci real quick from a larger perspective. Okay. So a lot of times when I start trading and stuff like that, I say what needs to hold in order for something else to happen. And as far as Fibonacci is concerned, we're looking at this level right here. There's 8,158, right? The bottom right here, the low right here, is uh, 8,366, right? So we're a little bit of a ways away from it. But this has to hold, in my in my opinion. This has to hold because it's, it's you know, the, this is the, you know, 0.618 retracement from this low to this high right here. And that's that's pretty significant, okay? That already that's like, uh, okay, maybe it's you know maybe we're looking at at, at at a new at a at a new turn here, right? At the same time though, Bitcoin tends to sometimes like to um, you know get between kind of halfway between kind of this 0.5 and this 0.618. So maybe that maybe that's all that that's needed right now in order for us to continue to move up higher. Um, but if it starts moving down below this like 8,158, you know, decisively moving down, then I think we have far more to go down, like 6,000 level. And, you know, all in all, this is actually good stuff. You know, this is what we want. This is what we want to happen. I know it's super painful to go through, but it really is what we want to happen because we need to like reset, you know, reset the clocks. Right, we made the history history books by having that huge bullish run up, right? Well, now we need to kind of reset the clocks and we need to reset everything that has to do with Bitcoin. I mean, it's the same thing that happened with, um, you know, the tech bubble, right? We had a, hu a huge sell-off, you know, kind of sideways for some time. And then basically tech, like, kind of reinvented itself, right? It, like, it got, like, new investors. It got, you know, new way to invest. It's got you know, new products and stuff like that. It's just, it just, it's part of its evolution. And I think that's the same thing that needs to what happen, needs to happen here in Bitcoin. Um, and that's why it was one of the reasons why you go through these corrections. You got to just clean out all the, all the muck, you know, all the mire, all the, all the crap out of the market, you know, and come back healthier and shinier than you were before. So let's take a look at things on a daily basis uh, real quick. On a daily basis, you know, it doesn't look too good. You know, this 200 moving average, which we've spoken about for some time, is really something we need to hold hold up to. And, you know, we've done 
<clears throat> we really come down low here. The low was um, as far as 8,366, right? So somewhere, somewhere right around here where my where my cursor is, right? That's significantly below the moving average. The moving average right now is hard for me to see. It's 8,943. It's hard for me to see with this glare in the background. So you know, it's um, come on. It is hell's going on here okay so it is um, you know imperative that we stay above this 200 moving average now right now it's about 8943 spot 44 why why is it imperative because it just it just is <laughs> I was to put it to you it just is a 200 moving average is a really strong support level also resistance level yes we did break down b below it right here okay but look at all the huge volume all the huge sell volume that came in and then all the huge buy volume that came in right to to say to say nope to turn this market around the same thing needs to happen here right the same thing needs to happen here not only volume wise but um, and we're not seeing that come in right now. We're not seeing that come in right at all. If you look at the few candles right here, right, they just kissed the 200 moving average. It took this candle right here to really break through, and it broke through on pretty, on pretty, you know, large sell volume. Sell volume. The buy candle, the next one, had had, you know, let's say about 30 percent more volume than the than the candle before it, and that was obviously trying to get this uh, right back out of the 200 moving average, and it wasn't even able to, right? It took one. Two, okay, it took the third candle to decisively get out of the 200 moving average and close above it, right? And then it still tested it, right? Went up, came back down, tested it, tested it, right? And then we were off and running. So here, I don't know if the market has that same bullish sentiment. I don't know if the market still has those deep pockets as it did before when everybody was looking here for, you know, for the low, you know, buy the lows, buy the lows, everybody buy the dip, buy the dip, everybody was saying, right? I feel like it's different. I feel like the psychology is different now. Okay, I just feel like it's different mentality, you know, where people are saying Bitcoin is dead, you know, openly on their social media platforms. I'm talking big people that have like tens of thousands of followers, um, you know, tens of thousands of followers, not only on like YouTube, but also on like on um, on Twitter and stuff like that, which we don't have a Twitter account, guys. But still, you know, it's um, it's just a different psychology than it was before. So that's what's going that's what's going on there. I want to see if there's anything um, going on on, you know, I, I'm sorry, guys. I really can't look at the color scheme like this probably from like so many years of looking at it on a dark screen it just it just it just fucks with me i'm sorry <laughs> so um all right so so next you know let's look at things on a six hour basis real quick so on a six hour basis you know we're pretty low this r this rsi you know it's it's, it's pretty low you know we've been we've been slightly lower before right we've been slightly lower before but it's definitely respectable we can definitely go lower, no question. Let's look at it on a twelve-hour basis. I mean, on a twelve-hour basis, we have we have a ways to go. We definitely have a ways to go. Not to say that it's going to, but we do. We we, we can go much further. And on a twelve-hour basis, that what what could be a good thing is the Lagar RSI is overbought. Excuse me, oversold. So we would obviously look for a turn there, but it could still go sideways for some time. Let's, let's look at it on a daily basis again. Yeah, on the daily basis, Laguerre RSI, you know, here it didn't get to oversold ter territory, right? It's it. I think it's infrequent where it it doesn't get to oversell territory for for quite some time. Yeah, I mean it 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 tends to zigzag pretty nicely. So, you know, I would say the probability of this thing turning and moving back north again is is lower just based on if I just look at the Laguerre RSI. So, um, yeah, guys, I know I'm 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 a, I'm a bit bearish, maybe than more than what people, maybe more than what people like, but that's kind of just what I see right now. So be really wary of your of your trades. Make sure you have your risk uh, tolerance really buttoned up pretty nicely. Um, and I wish you guys the best of luck, <laughs> as I as I always do. I may not say it, um, but yeah, I mean try to pick those bottoms and and pick those bottoms and ladder them in. 
uh, letter them in nicely, like a, like a, like I've mentioned uh, a few times. Make sure you know, be very patient. Make sure this thing sells off before you really go ahead and pick the pick pick your bottom, and make sure you do your homework before you do it. So, with that said. Um, we're going to leave right there. This is probably going to be our only video today. I had a ton of stuff to do in the morning and I have a ton of stuff to do this evening. So, um, probably going to be the only video today. Uh, so yeah, speak to you guys in the morning, most likely, and have a great day.